Hello, Manuel. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Manuel. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, Manuel? I am stressed. You are stressed, really? Because of the job yes. or traffic? Because for the job. Oh, um, can I ask what do you do? A free person? <laughs> yeah. Oh, a free person. <laughs> okay, that is the best job. So why are you stressful? <laughs> why are you stressed? Uh, <laughs> it's only, only work. Yes. And yes. I remember you told me you didn't have vacations, right? Yeah. Yeah. Depends of the of the role let's say you have right that the the highest you are the harder it is right so but we have job right so what is what matters yeah so try not to give up okay and uh, good to see you thank you manuel for sharing and uh, let's go with the lesson. Good to see you guys. And um, remember that yesterday we had uh, some activity spending, right? So did you complete the two activities? You had the two activities missing. Did you complete them? Mm -hmm. Or no? No, guys, or yes. The part, the part, the part one, uh, yes. Yeah. And the part two, uh, follow the number, only number five. Mm -hmm. Solo esa más falta de okay, so let's do it right now, right? Uh, you're going to tell me the information about your partner. But we're going to wait just some minutes for you to have your partner in the meantime. In the meantime, mientras tanto, in the meantime, in the meantime, let's work with this section, right? Using the object pronouns. So we have the first one. My friend Tom lives in London. This is a parcel from, what is the object there? Mm -hmm. This is a parcel from um him him in this case teacher. Yes, that's right. It is going to be him, right? That's right. Este es un terreno. This or a parcela, right? The L. Okay. Then we have a number two. I'm sorry. I can tell. What is the word? Tell you. The word? That's right. Tell you, not the well, let's see, right. The children are hungry. Give. Give them. Give. Exactly. Give them. Dallas, right? An apple. <laughs> Como que con eso se van a, a relajar. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Manuel. We are thirsty. Can you give? Can you, give? Can you give us, oh, right? Us, us, yeah. us that's that's right. we. That's the point, yeah. Jack is in the garden. Bring him. That's right. Jevalet, right? Bring him his food. Then we have Anne and Paul can do their homework. Can you help them? Right, you can help them. Then we have, I can't help you. That's right, I can help you tomorrow. 
These clothes are for poor children. Can you take? It. Um, we have these clothes, right? That it is plural. Them. Them. Right. Can you take them? Puedes llevarlas to the Red Cross. This cake is for Carol and me. Please. Her to me. Please give. Oh. Oh. Give me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Give me, give me to her. Mm -hmm. Give me. Mm -hmm. Oh, give it. Porque nosotros no es. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, give it. To. Para quién? Para oh. quién sería? Nosotros. Oh, Us. Nosotros. Us, right. Us. Mm -hmm. Or también give it to her también, right? It can be. It can be an option. Okay, then we have. Uh, Number 10, the roses are for mother. Please. Okay. It to her. Okay, the roses are, it's a plural word, right? Then, them to her. Yeah. Por favor, dáselas a ella. Bien. What is father? Can you? Me. Mm, can you tell me, right, where he is? Yeah. What about number 12? Where is the mouse? It. Right, I can see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about 13? Me. What is the post office? Mm -hmm, that's right. Me. Me, right? Then we have, what's your telephone number? Mm -hmm. What's your telephone number? I don't know it. That's right, I don't know it. Our brother is very nice. He's all, he always helps. Use with the homework. He always helps. It can be me, right? He always helps me or help us. It can be both, right? Okay, so questions? Questions about this part? Okay, uh, this word, tenemos, we have the word mouse, right? It's in singular. But if we have it in plural, sería mice. Okay, just in case you, you see this word. We have mouse and mice as a plural. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have this part, right? The speaking section. Okay, who wants to tell me the responses you got from your partner? Let's start with... Henry, please tell me, what did you discuss yesterday related to this section? Um, um, perdón, so, uh, teacher, no la entendí muy bien. Eh, ¿Esta parte la trabajamos ayer? ¿Qué, qué discutimos ayer con su pareja? Uh, yes. ¿Trabajamos en esta parte? Yes. Okay, tell me. Uh, no, 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 uh, our goal. Okay, you it, didn't finish this part. Uh, no. No, okay. No. Okay, let's see, what about uh, you, Suleyma? Did you finish this part, the speaking section? Yes, teacher, I <clears throat> finish. Okay, can you share with us, please? What information did you get? Get? 
For example, what kinds of music does your partner like? In this case, para presentar esto, no es necesario repetir la pregunta, right? Simplemente we can say, I worked, en el caso de Suleyma, I worked with, digamos, with Felipe. Felipe, y usted empieza a describir, she, he likes, he likes country music, that's rock, and start describing. Okay, let me know, Suleyma, if you are ready. Okay, uh, my uh, Oscar, uh, he likes uh, rock music, your favorite Single is uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> and your favorite movies are action, action movies and comedy, comedy movies. Okay, perfect, Suleyma. So let's listen to your partner, Oscar. Are you here, Oscar? Let's see if Oscar is here. No se conecta. No, he's not here. Okay, Suleyma, can you describe your uh, this section using your information, right? What is your information? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería su información, Suleyma, in your case? Uh, in my case, uh, my uh, favorite single are Britney Spears and Beyonce. And my favorite music are uh, pop, pop music, uh, romantic music. Mm -hmm. And my favorite movies are action and comedy. Action and comedy, okay, perfect. Okay, let's see what about your case, Elsie. Do you, did you finish with the activity? Teacher, I wasn't in class yesterday, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Thank you, Elsie. Okay, what about- but I uh -huh. can- Try. Answer. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, yes. please. Okay. Um, in my case, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, my favorite music is the gospel. Gospel music. And, okay. Yes, gospel music and classic instrumental too. And my favorite movies are drama. <laughs> I like drama. Drama. Okay, you are a drama queen. <laughs> yeah. No, in, in, no. It, it, do say, you cry? Do you say, mm, ah, yes. <laughs> I, You're sensible. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, like, I'm like me. I am so sensible with the movies too. <laughs> yes. It's my favorite. Uh, kind. 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 Mm -hmm. There's a type. Picture. Mm -hmm. Time. Mm -hmm. Time. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's only on the other question. It is a TV show. Do you have a favorite TV show? Mm, yes. Uh, for example, the plastic surgery. It's called, it's, yes, the plastic, the surgeons, right? Uh, yes. The surgeons, yes. <laughs> okay. After, uh, um uh, antes y después sería before uh, and after before and after uh -huh. yes thank you teacher oh okay after surgery after surgery after surgery and before okay. and before yeah. surgery the comparative <laughs> yes yes that, that's a cool program i i, I have regret in that but that that is a cool <laughs> one Okay, thank you. Yes, very funny. It, it <laughs> is. Day. It is. You. you know, I remember in, in some episodes they show like a Barbie person who wants to be like a more like a doll person. 
but yes, some yes. crazy stuff <laughs> happened there. Yeah. yeah. I recommend you guys that program if you want to have fun. Okay, thank you, Elsie. Okay, so let's listen another. What about your information, Rose? Do you have it? Are you there, Rose? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, do you have the information? Um, I work with Kenneth. Okay, can you share with us, please? She's like pop music. She's favorite color are green. And she's like survive, survival TV show. Survivor, yes. Yes, sure, survivor. That's a good one too, right? Okay, what about you? What about you, Rose? Uh, I like uh, small mm -hmm. My favorite color is angry. Mm -hmm. I like pop music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you like pop music. What about uh, what about a TV show? Do you have a favorite TV show? Small beam. Small beam. Hmm. Okay, I've heard about that one. No, snow or something like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Perfect, Rose. Thank you. Okay, let's listen another. Um, okay, I think everybody has, or can it, do you have, oh no, you were the one who did not come yesterday, right? Okay, so somebody else who wants to share uh, the information, alguien más que quiera compartir, somebody else? Remember, this is the time for you to practice speaking. Yes. Okay, yes. go ahead, please. Yeah. And, and waking up, do you like uh, music, uh, la salsa, uh, cumbia, mm -hmm. and video, e e video game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, beautiful. And okay. Do you like. Uh, uh, play soccer and movie and action is modern and it's okay. mm -hmm. and it was your favorite and singer and como se dice mi trabajo canto <laughs> oh you sing I, I sing in my job. Siempre ando cantando ahí. Oh, really? Yes. Y, y el actor, eh, actor favorito es Will Smith. Will Smith. Okay, Will Smith, right? Yes. Hey, with that punch, con ese gran golpe, right? Que dio en los yes. Oscars. Yes. <laughs> okay, your favorite actor is Will Smith. Yes, definitely. Will Smith has big roles, big movies. Yes. That's right. Okay, perfect. Uh, something else to add? Algo más que agregar, Something else to add? Algo más que agregar? Or that's it. O eso es todo. That's it. That's it. Eso es todo. That's it, Manuel. Sorry, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was Henry, right? Okay. Something else to add, Henry? Yes. Algo más que agregar a su descripción? Oh, that's it. Eh, eh, bueno, eh, el atleta eh, favorito es Nadal. Cristian Nadal. 
Christian Nodal. Christian Nodal is a singer. <laughs> yes, finish. <laughs> ok, ok. Usted está hablando del atleta y yo le digo a un cantante. <laughs> ok, perfect. Ok, thank you. Ok, vamos a revisar some expressions, right, that we are making. Ok. Ok, the first one. Hay que tener cuidado con los, el simple present, right? No estamos mencionando he like. Tenemos que mencionar he likes. No nos olvidemos de la S, he likes. También como estamos hablando de él, tenemos que mantener el posesivo. His favorite, his favorite singer. Ok. Porque si decimos your favorite, se está refiriendo a lo que a mí me gusta. Y estamos hablando de él en este caso, right? Y tengamos cuidado with that. Tengamos cuidado también con los plurals. Okay. My favorite singer are. ¿Qué le hace falta ahí? My favorite singer are. What is missing? ¿Qué, no? ¿Qué me hace falta? What is missing there? En ese caso no estábamos hablando de singular, sería en vez de la is. Podemos tomar, ajá, fue en vez del, pero yo quiero decir, por ejemplo, eh, my favorite singer are eh, Mark Anthony, Mark Anthony, and Jennifer Lopez, digamos. ¿Qué me haría falta? What is missing there? Singers. That's right. Don't forget to add the letter S. No nos olvidemos de agregar, de pronunciar también la letra S, el sonido. Porque si no, that is going to be a big mistake. Vamos a una entrevista y decimos eso. Nos van a decir, thank you for coming. Okay, so take care. Okay, guys, let's have a this listening. So you are going to discover who the date is and uh, you're going to tell me the music of each person, the movies and the TV show programs. Okay, so solo va a ser one time and then you tell me the answer. Okay, ready? Okay, let's go. Page 25, Exercise 7, Listening. Who's my date? Part A. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? Complete the chart. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill... John and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like action movies. And how about you, John? Oh, I like musicals. And how about you, Tony? I love horror movies. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror movies too. And now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch reality shows. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, that was interesting, right? 
there there are some programs like that that they have to that the girl or the boy has to decide for example the girl of her of uh, of her dreams right of their dreams too okay guys so tell me the information you got from this listening so in the case of bill what is the music that he likes what type of music that he does he like Bill classical like music. Classical yes. music. Okay. Bill likes, right? Likes classical music. What about John? He likes jazz. He likes jazz music. Okay. He likes. Repitamos, please. He likes. He likes jazz. He likes jazz. Jazz. Jazz music, like right? Jazz music. What about Tony? He likes rock music. That's right. He likes rock music. And what about Linda? She likes jazz. Pop jazz. Music. She likes. Linda. Muy bien. She likes mm -hmm. pop, pop music. Pop music. That's right. That's right. Okay, what about the movies in the case of Bill? What kind of movies does he like? He likes, he likes action movies. That's right, he likes action movies. What about John? Mm -hmm. What about John? Comedia. John likes musical movies. Movie. That's right. Musicals, right? Musicals. Okay. What about Tony? Tony likes horror movies. Perfect. He likes horror movies. And Linda? Linda likes horror movies too. Yeah. Horror. She likes horror movies too, right? What about if, when we talk about TV show programs? Bill likes reality show. Okay, Bill. Okay, vamos a hacer el reinforcement, right, guys? Okay, necesito que por favor no nos olvidemos de la S. Por ejemplo, si hablamos de Bill likes, right? Bill likes. My sister, she likes, okay? Vamos énfasis en ese sonido. Cuando estemos hablando de he, she, and it. Okay, so we have a reality show, right? Reality shows. What about John? Uh -huh. John likes talk shows. Perfect, perfect. Talk, talk shows, right? And what about Tony? He likes game game show. Yeah, he likes game shows. Perfect. And what about Linda? Mm -hmm. What about Linda? Likes uh, talk. Shows and mm -hmm. game shows. That's right. She likes talk and game shows. Now, the big question, guys. Who do you think is the best date for Linda and why? Who is the best person, the best date for Linda? What do you think, uh, guys? Who is the best guy for Linda and why? I'm going to say who. <laughs> You have Bill, John, and Tony. Who is the best guy? Mm, for Linda, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for uh, Linda. <laughs> 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 Not for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for Linda, I think mm, uh, Tony. Tony, why? Why? Because he he. I 
how do you say coincident? Okay, they are related or they have in common. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. In common. In common kind uh, the in TV show, I think. Yes, the fav the, the TV show programs, right? They have that in common. Okay. So that, that can be an option. What do you think, Manuel? In the horror movies. In the horror, horror movies. movies. Yes, they <laughs> like movies. the same, right? Yes, that can be. Okay, what about you, Manuel? Who do you think is the best prospect, right? The whole prospect or the best prospect for this lady? <laughs> uh, in my case, um, Bill. Oh, Bill. really, Bill? But why? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, they, they have in common music. Yeah, music. But Linda likes pop music and Bill only likes classical music. Eh, sí, pero no sé si escuché mal, pero dijo que también le gustaba la música clásica y el jazz. Mm. O no sé si escuché mal. I think it was jazz, if I'm not wrong. Oh, yes, you are right, she said. And we forgot to add that. Okay, yes, right. It can be. It can be right. Okay, would you go to a reality show, guys? Would you go, Irian ustedes? Would you go to a reality show to find love? Would you go, guys? Or what do you think about these TV show programs? What do you think? Or would you go? Mm -hmm. In my case, I will not go. <laughs> <laughs> you would not go. Why not? Because I I don't like about me. Talk about me. <laughs> you don't like to talk. You are a, a discreet right person. You are a person that doesn't like to to talk about your personal things, right? Yes, and I, uh, how do you say panic or scenic? <laughs> I have scenic panic. Yes, I have a scenic panic. Oh, really? This is the, this is the big reason. <laughs> the big reason, you can't stand in front of the people. I, no puedes estar, you I, can't I, stand? Yes, I can stand <laughs> in front of the people and and talk about about the personal information. <laughs> yes, completely agree with you. Yeah, yeah, that is something that so, so nervous. <laughs> so nervous. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Completely agree with you. Okay, guys, let's move on. It's an interesting right? There, there are some TV shows that uh, they have this, right? Okay, let's go back and um, before finishing the class to the grammar focus that we have for today. And that uh, we're going to um, study something related to would. Would is un auxiliar, right? Or un modal too. Y este lo, se va, lo vamos a ver bastante. Lo vamos a utilizar, we're going to use this, por ejemplo, con algo que a usted le gustaría hacer. For example, I would, I would like to, to have a big house. Me gustaría tener una gran casa, right? Algo que a usted le gustaría uh, hacer. Uh -huh. Girl, girl. Wood, 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 no, no, no se, we, we don't pronounce the L, no pronunciamos la L, ah, es, okay, it is silent, it is silent, yes, wood, okay, good, the same, good, no, 
No. We have goose, goose, goose. and we have goose, like wow, like goose. 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 No, goose. Yes, you can. It, it, you were very close. You were very close. Good and good. Good. No. We don't say the, the, the L. No le decimos la L. We don't say the L. Okay, okay, one more time. Let's try it. Good mm -hmm. and good. 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 Is it longer? You? Woods, woods, yeah, it can it can be longer, but this one it is the longest one. In this one we add like a, a woo, like when you say woo, 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 woos, like something like that. If you want to pronounce it, algo así lo podemos pronunciar. Woos. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. good. Sin okay. la L, without the L. Don't forget. The good. L, we don't say the L, okay? No lo decimos. Good. 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 Uh, there good. you have. There you have. There you have. Good. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay. No problem. So we have would you like. We have the bird, right? We have the, the auxiliary word, then we have the subject, and then we have the verb. Y no nos olvidemos el tú. Okay. Would you like to? Me gustaría salir. Would you like to, um, to be with me, for example? Would you like, en el caso de los boys, right, to be my girlfriend? ¿Te gustaría? ¿Te gustaría ser mi novia o mi novio? Right, or boyfriend. En caso que usted se va a casar, right. Would you like to be my wife or husband? ¿Te gustaría o le gustaría? Ok, but don't forget, when we have this, no nos olvidemos, please, del to. Important. Si no le agregamos el to, it's wrong. Está incorrecto. Don't forget that. Okay, so we have, uh, would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Or we can say, yes, I love it. Me encantaría, right? This is a contraction. También lo podemos encontrar de la forma larga, pero they don't say that. I, they, they make it shorter. I would love it. Es la forma larga. I would love two things. Okay, and then we have here the, the, the same way, right? We have it in short. Would you like to go out to go to a concert match? I I would like to, or I would like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Something very important, algo que debemos de notar acá es que cuando tenemos have, need, want, también like, tenemos que utilizar el to, ¿ok? El to más el verbo. Ok, questions, guys, about this section? No questions? No questions. Ok, perfect. So let's let's practice, right? We have we have to respond. Uh, respond to this part. It says, "I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go?" What can be the answer? Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like. Yes, I, yes, uh, yes, I would. I would. Yes, I would. That's right. Yes, I would. I would. Or I would love to. But this is muy larga. We can say yes, I would love to. Okay. Then the next one, number two. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Manuel, can you ask number two to Suleima, please? Okay. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Okay, usted, se lo, usted va a negarlo. Usted tiene algo que hacer. O le vamos a responder, Suleima. Eh, no. Hay... Mm. I, I like to, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, the, the same way as Manuel said, right? No, um, I would. No, I could. We can say, no, I wouldn't. But utilicemos the phrases that we have there. I like to. Esas son más polite. Uh -huh. But I I read a book. I have a right. Tengo que. I have to read. I, I have a read book. To read. Okay. I have to read. A book. Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay, thank you, Suleima. Okay. okay, thank you, Manuel. Okay, let's go with uh, Kenny, please. Number three, Kenny. Would you like? Can you ask this question to Henry? Okay. Okay. Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Ria, X like to. I, 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 I like to. Mm -hmm. uh, but, what? But, uh -huh. what? But. Uh, but, 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 but uh, pero, but. Mm -hmm. Eh, negativa, ¿verdad? Eh, le, eh, I have to work. I late. have to work, yes. Have to work late. Muy bien, excelente. Yes. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Okay. ok, no nos olvidemos que esta parte es como estamos negando, pero de una forma muy polite, como muy, muy amable. Right. De hecho, de esta forma educada. Es... educada. That's right. Educada. There you said it. Me gustaría ir, pero tengo trabajo. Tengo mucho trabajo. Ok. Ok. A veces... Excusa. Excuses, right. <ríe> Como cuando le dicen, would you like to be my girlfriend? La chica, no, right. Would you like. Yes, to... by that. <ríe> yes, but no, thanks. <ríe> Okay, so let's go with number four. What can be the question? What pregunta podemos hacer with number four? We have the answer, yes, I love to. Thank you. Let's do, let's create a question. Okay, let's use the question. Would, would you like, would you like to see would you like to see movies? To but... watch movies. Mm -hmm. Can be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to watch movies? Yes, I love to. Thank you. It can be right. Okay, aquí tenemos con, con este tipo de, de, de respuesta, right? También las podemos encontrar con WH. Podemos agregar what would you like to do? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer? What would you like to do? I would like, o I también, I would like to have a party. Ok, entonces también podemos encontrarlo con what. O la forma corta, right? No olvidemos que would and I is the same. Okay, no questions? 
No questions, guys. Teacher, una consulta. Yes, tell me. Eh, um, and you either like to se resume. I okay. I do. I do. like. Okay. I Okay, repitamos please. Let's just I'd, repeat. I'd like. I'd like. Perfect. I'd uh -huh. like. Sí, exacto. Lo que, lo que me preguntaba es cuando usted tiene el I would. Uh -huh. Correcto. Lo mismo, yes. Solo que ellos, uh, okay. usted sabe que le gusta hacer las cosas bien short, right? Entonces, cuando estamos hablando, utilizamos la, las contracciones. Okay, en, okay. Y okay. cuando estamos escribiendo, usamos la forma larga. Ok, okay guys. This is an interesting topic, right? Ok, so let's go to this section where you are going to speak, right? Okay. With your partner, student A, uh, you are going to ask this question. And student B, you're going to ask these questions. Eh, ah, vamos a dar explanations también, right? No vayan a responder yes, no, no. Tenemos que dar explanation, un, un why. Por ejemplo, the first one. Would you ever stop studying English? Would you ever stop studying English, guys? What can you say? Let's say, no, I would never, vamos a decir, stop studying English. Y necesito explicación. Because it is necessary. Okay, long answers. Okay, no questions. No, no questions? questions. Okay, so let's go to the breakout rooms and try to speak right mainly because later ustedes van a presentar the information of your partner. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the first 10 question is for first um, student. It's for your partner. Okay. Okay, for example, imagine you are a student A, you're going to ask these questions to your partner. Then your partner, that is going to be student B, he's going to ask you these questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. So let's go right to the breakout rooms and practice. Okay, I think we, we're not going to have time. After, after night, I'm gonna end the meeting. I will be monitoring the, the, the meetings just in case you have um, questions. Okay, let's go. I'm going to be sharing this in the WhatsApp. Let's see.
Mm, buena, buena redacción. Ajá, lo voy a, lo voy a redactar, lo intentaré. Okay, lady, okay. questions? Okay. <laughs> Do you have questions? Yes, teacher, uh, teacher, um, in, for example, how do you say uh, no? No me gustaría que me volviera a pasar. <laughs> ah, no me gustaría. Okay. Just screen. No me gustaría. I wouldn't. Uh, I do. wouldn't like that happened to me. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like. That happened to me. Uh, what uh, happened? That Teacher, happened. Mm -hmm. The meaning, the happening is sucedió. Sucedió. No me gustaría que eso oh, me, me pasara. pasara mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this uh, case, it is, um, Teacher, o sea que para, puedo hacer una negación de una sola vez en, 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 en este modo. Yes, you can make negations. That's right. Podemos utilizar no, I wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't. Would, wouldn't. Wouldn't. Wouldn't like mm -hmm. that. I wouldn't like it. Okay. Oh, I would not también, ¿verdad? La forma larga. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Or I would not like. Pero está hasta para pronunciarla hace un mayor esfuerzo. Entonces, we say wouldn't. Wouldn't like. Wouldn't like it. Wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Ah, is the short answer. Is the short I one. I wouldn't yeah. like. Mm -hmm. Ajá, o sea, no me gustaría. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, It's ladies. Interesting. Ok, let me know if you have more questions, ok? Okay, Manuel, let's uh, end the class. I hope to see you tomorrow. Try to finish the questions. Maybe you can text your partner so you can have the, the information. So, guys. Yeah, teacher.
Good night. Good night. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Okay. Rest a lot. See you guys. <laughs>